too much light. Okay. Hopefully that'll... I think that's going to go off. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, working into the evening right now, so um, bear with me. I'm not spending any time setting up the studio lights or anything like that. We're just keeping it very basic and very casual, so it's me, obviously. Uh, you guys have already seen the first trailer that I did for the uh, free online... Um, you know, glove documentary creating the ESA, which was a record um, of my previous build efforts before certain things happened. You're already aware of from the other stuff um, where I had the camera rolling and I recorded everything. And then after the fact, I went, <clears throat> cut it all together every few, every few days, uh, did some voiceovers uh, with the intent of sharing this information and knowledge with the glove makers, with the clients whose gloves are being built on the floor. Uh, and anybody else who has an interest in the hobby. So that's what you just saw, and that was my, you know, and I did these two trailers way back when um, I just finally threw them into the editing bay, uh, and uh, there you have it. So this is the second trailer, and the first one was a real tease. Uh, this one requires a little bit of a setup. I'm going to be as fast as I can with it. Uh, what you're going to be seeing are highlights from the first six segments, 12 hours, 12.5 hours of the documentary. And again, this is just me with the camera rolling. You'll, be, you'll hear me talk. I'm not talking as I'm working with the stuff. Um, and, and I actually address this uh, at several points, and I think I'm including part of this on the, on the dialogue of what I'm going to show you as I'm working on these client gloves. Um, and you'll see me picking things up and examining them and almost turning them you know, into camera. It's not for the sake of the camera. I'm, that's how I'm working, and I explain that. Uh, and, uh, you know, the voiceover is just my voiceover. So it's got some information that helps me, um, that I think of when I build. If you dig it, dig it. Um, and I hope you do, because it means a lot to me. So that's what you're going to be seeing. And these are all, uh, I think, you know, uh, if you've seen the website, I already updated it uh, today. So it's got the brand new homepage on it. Very bare bones. That's how it's going to stay. Um, basic information only, uh, letting you guys know that there was an announcement tonight. Uh, but it did tout some things that the client should be expecting. And, and rather than, you know, it's going to be kind of a process just, you know, starting up your builds uh, again. I actually have some started, so that's good news. I can show you that. Um, I've got some stuff already in the works, um, and we'll be doing that in the next, uh, next real physical update in about a day and a half. Um, but that being said, there, it's still a process, and rather than make you wait, 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 which you're, you're doing already, um, I touted, I think, four points on the website. Uh, as to the, you know, the, the upgrades to, you know, and I'm not officially calling it a 2.0, that's just to differentiate so you know that it's different. Um, and the four points, I think, were the completely reworked armature, um, so you know that. Uh, but there's also three other points. There's um, a completely new color and weathering application. All my old, old methods are gone. So all those weird, like, yellow tinges and things like that and weird, almost like it's paint, gone. Uh, completely different color application, but I'm still using the base, uh, one of the base stages. So it's been altered pretty significantly. I talk about that process. I show that process, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's that <clears throat> second point. The third point is um, the uh, memory serves the all-new uh, revised uh, leather glove weathering and raised surface detail. And I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to show it uh, as to what I'm doing now. Um, it's the only detail I think that I do that, that I haven't seen done. So, you know, yay for me. Um, I, it was a huge experiment. It actually worked. I like it. You guys can be the judge. I think it looks pretty cool. And I point that out also, and I'm including that in this uh, highlight teaser. Um, the th what was the third point on the site? I don't have it in front of me because I don't have internet because I'm home. <laughs> Fucking life. Uh, what was the third point? So it's armature. Uh, oh, the proper scale. Uh, obviously, I'm showing you that, um, and I talk about the scale, and I'm showing some scale snippets here as well where I actually divulge the measurements of my gloves, like all of them. Um, and maybe that was it. Maybe it was just those points. Uh, so, yeah. Um, everything I kind of touted on the website I wanted to include on the highlight reel, and I knew I would want to do that. These are the main points. So I've got those time-coded, and um, you know, for the most part, I think I touch on everything. Uh, and I don't have you know, any time to recut the thing, so you'll have to kind of make do if it doesn't touch on the subject. But I wanted to make sure to mention this. Uh, the glove you've just seen, which I call the Becker clone, you know, that's mine. That's not going anywhere. I'm never going to build a glove for anybody that looks like the, the Becker glove does today. And, and it's the screen glove, but it's Becker's, it's Mike's, Mike, it's yours. So that's how I refer to it. I'm not, like, advertising it as the Becker clone. It's just what I call it for my own intents and purposes to differentiate between the 
progeny that comes of it, the, the child with the child gloves from that mother glove. So anytime you hear me mentioning that, that's what that is. It's just a little nod of the hat to where it came from. It's not any kind of official thing. I'll never put it on my site going, the Becker clone, blah, 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 blah. It's just for the sake of me talking about it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, case in point on that glove, that mother glove, you have to understand it served its purpose. And it's, I still have it. Um, right now it's dismantled. And I talk about how it gets mantled and dismantled, um, built and unbuilt, uh, as I use it to build the other gloves. It's my workhorse glove. Once I got that final finish on it, um, that I showed in the first trailer and also in the second uh, part of the documentary footage uh, of the client glove work and me starting to get into the build process and all that, killing those two birds with that one stone, um, that was it. Served its purpose, okay, I did it, great. Now I can totally muck it up as far as the finish. I was very careful with the armature, but huge amount of wear and tear. I was not worried. I mean, this, the finish that I do on all the stuff now is it's permanent. It's going to age naturally. It's going to do everything it should as it should, and I've worked toward that for a long time. You guys know that. Um, but, you know, again, you always have to take care of stuff. And so by the end of the documentary, you'll see, I mean, it slowly wears, you know, I mean, it, you'll see scratches forming and, you know, because I'm, ha I'm really handling it roughly. And it's like, it's, you know, like I said, it served its purpose and it's my workhorse glove. It's what I build all my gloves off of now. Um, and so when I'm done, I throw it in the can. I throw it in the toolbox. I let it do what it's going to do. I don't put it on a stand and I don't treat it like a display item. Um, it's really my workhorse glove. So, you know, it gets a bit of wear and tear by the end of this 15 hours because I've also used it beyond what's been shot. So uh, you'll see it pristine in the second uh, segment, and then slowly as the uh, you know as I muck with it and, and dick around with it through the documentary in the course of the hours shot and the months and all that, you'll see it wear down. And it'll age naturally over, over the years, as the original did. Um, so, you know, copper and brass does what it does. I just thought I'd throw that in there. And, oh, the fourth, uh, no, I already mentioned that. Um, so that's what you're going to be seeing. And uh, these are highlights of what to expect throughout the course of the entire documentary as it's been shot. And, you know, again, like I said before, as I'll have the camera rolling as I finish these last orders for every glove, documenting everything, I'll have, by the end of it, probably 100 hours of footage, and I'll cut together the end of the documentary where I'll talk about the points that aren't going to be talked about or have, I haven't reached yet that I've already mentioned. So it'll be complete. It's just going to take some time, and that will be my last kind of effort on that. Um, but there's a lot already. <laughs> You'll see. These are just small segments, but I'm going to do like a good 9 or 15 minute, you know, kind of like the Star Trek um, teaser where they did like 9 minutes of footage. I'm gonna, it's not going to be a 2 minute thing. It's going to be like a 15 minute, you know, I, I think it's 15. It could be 16, 17. I have to look again. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So hopefully there's something there that you guys will enjoy. And there's stuff you can already start using to work on or to gain some perspective, or call me an idiot and say, you're totally fucking wrong, dude, you're out of your mind, and you don't know shit. So, it's all up to you guys. Uh, that's it. This is the lead-in. So, this is the second trailer for the DESA documentary, Creating the DSA. So, I work on client gloves, worked on client gloves, and shot the footage um, all at the same time for the benefit of you guys, the public, and uh, glove collectors, and makers, and horror buffs in kind. My peeps, believe it or not. All right. Enjoy. Thanks a lot.